Hello everybody, and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more 13 Sentinels, and we're back into some Remembrance. We did two battles in the last one, and they were really fun, so... Uh, I think today we're going to start with Iori Fuyusaka. We haven't really done much since her prologue, so... Um, we need to we need to learn a little bit more about this girl. Obviously, she's shown up a lot in the other uh, in the other routes, but let's see what she has to offer here. Maybe she'll unlock uh, Ogata or possibly uh, Ryoko. Um, now, I, I'm thinking that there might actually just be several of these characters that don't have their own like story paths. Like we haven't seen um, Okino. We haven't. We know Ogata is going to be part of it because. This tells us right here that we have to complete one of Ogata's thing to unlock this. Um, so, we know Ogata's going to be here. I guess we don't really know if um, Okino or if Ryoko Shinonome are going to be, you know, if we're going to see their story firsthand like these other characters. But I guess we'll see. Um, or even Goto, for that matter. Goto also hasn't shown up on this, this uh, screen yet. Yuri Fuyusaka is sleep-deprived from the nightmare she's been having. She discovered that her classmates Juro Kurabe and Shu Amaguchi have been having the same dream, too. Uh -huh. Yeah, this is going back. Back to the beginning. <laughs> Did you see that, Usami-chan? It was that kitty again! About that cat. I don't see it. Must have taken off already. So many stray cats around here. Maybe someone's feeding them. <sighs> Whenever I think about him, my heart starts racing. <laughs> That's A, if it's anybody like doesn't remember. Sight. If I said that, would he laugh at me? Every day I have strange dreams. They keep me up at night. <sighs> So sleepy. Now we know from A's storyline that eventually uh, those two will kind of hook up a little bit. Mila Chan's my good friend. She's gentle, kind, loves talking about romance, even though she's shy with boys. <laughs> that blush. Who was it that she blushed? Who was it that she had a crush on? Was it Ogata? No, because we haven't played as Ogata. I can't remember who it was she liked. Usami-chan sits at the desk in front of mine. She has red glasses, braids, and seems a bit weird, honestly. Sometimes she's an android. No big deal. I don't see it. After this, you wanted to go to the record store, right? Yes! You must really want that new Idol Group's album. Well, you know the lead vocalist? He looks a bit like... Amiguchi That's who it is. Yep, she's got a big so crush what? on Amaguchi. Jeez. That's right. Man, all the guys at school suck. <laughs> There's not even one you might like. Oh no. Being in love is wonderful, Sami chan Tomi's the one who kind of likes Amaguchi too, right? It's like your heart's wrapped in a warm blanket. About Amiguchi kun I heard he's not joining the basketball team. What a shame. He's so good at it. Back in grade school, he played soccer. But one day, he just got bored and quit. You guys knew each other back then? Yeah, in fourth grade. Nachan, too. We were in the same class. Hmm. Let's see. Now, where were we? Hmm. Maybe, but come on. Have you seen how the guys react when Morimura walks in? <laughs> well, let me just say, they're not looking at her eyes. No, they're not. She does have a nice figure, and I can sort of understand. <laughs> well, at least she doesn't come to class in that black cat suit. already so many stray cats around here maybe someone's feeding them that kitty think it's the same one I saw at school 
There doesn't know. seem to be anything Broadcasts else to do. Look like that. Maybe we're just supposed to listen. You saw it too, right, Yuri -chan? Sure did. Didn't it look the same? Yes. Oh, it's over there. Where? I don't see it. Must have taken off already. So many stray cats around. What do you want here. from Maybe me? Someone is feeding them. After this, you want to get you. As for guys, I like. What? Why is it white now? Coming. That's weird. Are you sending your love letter, Miwa-chan? Yeah, that's weird. I don't know. My fortune said bad luck this week, so. Oh. I see. Confessions take a lot of courage, huh? Yuri-chan. Uh, sorry, sorry. Don't mind me. You should get a four-leaf clover, Yuri-chan. Huh? It's a love charm. I saw it in a magazine. If you include it in a love letter to your crush, your wish will come true. Uh-huh. And what was it last week? Put a photo of your crush inside your pillow? <laughs> hey, she's up on her trends, okay? Leave her alone. <laughs> Shallower than a cookie man. So am I supposed to like I do something else it. with the cat? It got away twice. Huh. So many You've got a streak. Alright, now we're talking to Tommy. This I'm is weird. Hungry. <laughs> Let's get more treats. Okay. I, I don't Good idea. Where should we go? The construction of that scene was a little awkward. <laughs> Let's get sweets. It's a hot day today. Why don't we get soft serve? Nah. I'd rather have crepes. Let's let Yuri chan decide. The soft serve place just got a new flavor in. I wonder what uh crepes for sure. I agree with Usami chan. Crepes sound good right now. Then that's that. Let's go. I want one. Can I have one? Looks good. You didn't get your usual? Chocolate banana, right? Double strawberry was half off. I have to try it. Yum. <laughs> How is it? Mmm. So many strawberries. Double. Crispy edges. Lots of cream. You know, what if I got the tuna and mayo? I could have fed it to the cat. Hey. Cats can't have crepes. A tuna and mayo crepe doesn't I sound good. I actually have cat treats with me. If you want to feed him, I guess it's just basically those. a tuna sandwich. <laughs> so you're the one who's been feeding them? Jeez, Miwako. I'll keep that in mind next time I see one. I'm very, very close hey, to Miwako Miwa right now. <laughs> okay, hey, cat treats. There we go. Place. This is probably where it'll be different. Don't you good. run away, you bastard. Mm. Uh -oh. I thought cat treats. How dare you? It was that kitty again. You bastard. I don't know. A lot of cats look like that. That's me. You a chun? You should do it. Send your love letter. Huh? But it said my luck for this week is bad. I see. Confessions take a lot of courage. Goto senpai's pretty cute thing. Uh, do I have to get the cat treats? I, did she give me yeah, cat treats or do we need to go and get them? Romance. I don't. Can we finish this series? Oh, uh, we have to go back, don't we? Is that what we have to do? Oh, I remember now. 
now. Mm -hmm. Man, oh, there's not even one you might like? Being a... Man, there's not even one you might like? She does... Oh my goodness. Oh, I don't I don't like the way this scene is constructed. This is like the only one that's bugged me so far. God damn. Yeah, we we get it. We get it. I don't see. Goto Senpai's pretty cute too. He has a As for guys, Cat, I fuck you, dude. I think Amiguchi comes handsome. Hmm. Oh, oh what am I call out? I Did see. see oh, th this is dumb. <laughs> Why are you doing it like this game? Come on. I don't see it. <laughs> My God! Must have taken. Uh, maybe, but come on. Okay. Have you seen okay. how the guys react? There we go. Okay. Jesus. Hey. All right, they get one. Over they here. get one. Oh, one this game's been amazing. So I'll get the they get one weird scene for sure. Heck, I'll give them probably like ten weird scenes. But I didn't. That one was weirdly constructed. <laughs> They're very similar, but I think the one at school looks slightly different. So there's more than one. You got a good look at the one at school, huh? At the front gate with Karabe? Oh, you saw that? Oh! That guy's kind of weird, don't you think? <laughs> what were you talking to him about? She does not it approve. Was... The opposite of me. It's not so bad if I put my mind to I it. I hate mornings. Definitely not a morning person. Not this guy. Oh, kitty! Do they look different? Early cat gets the mouse, huh? Oh, he's sleeping. Good morning, fuyasaka san Just like a stray I've seen by my house. Maybe they're siblings. Kurabe kun, do you still have those dreams? Yeah, sometimes. I have them too. You know that one you talked about earlier? With the UFO buried underground? UFO? Yori! There's Megami Morning. again. That poor girl. I do feel bad for her. Good morning. What were you guys up to over there? Oh, um, just looking at a cat. Uh, huh. Hey, can we talk a little more? <laughs> uh, okay. Megumi? Oh. Oh, indeed. Oh, indeed. Hold on, let's consider first. Every day I have strange dreams. They keep me up at night. <sighs> so sleepy. The UFO. Memory of a dream. Ooh, this is gonna be a 2085. Spaceship ruins, is that what that said? <sighs> yeah, this is gonna be sector four. Hi, Juro. Juro. Oh, thank goodness. I was worried with you all by yourself. If something were to happen to you, I... Juro, stop. <sighs> I'm flattered you feel that way. Oh. But I can't think about this. Not now. Dude. Oh, man. The, the teenage love dramas is unfolding. Juro... 
Kurabe has a thing for Iori. Iori has a thing for A. And Megami has a thing for Juro... What is it? Izumi? <laughs> and if Juro Izumi was still, you know, had his mind put together, he would have a thing for Megami. I don't want to leave you hanging. No, I get it. Wow. <laughs> I don't know what got into me. This is no time for a confession. It would only make things more complicated. But listen, when this is all over, I'll talk to you again. Promise. The love drama. Hey, it's Okino. There it is again. Were you able to find the source of these tremors? Okino or Okino? Okino. Yeah, Okino. Remember the kaiju that were immobilized? They're starting to collapse. The tunnel is blocked. We'll need to find another route to the surface. There's no use rushing. No one's left up there anyway. <sighs> you don't have to say it. <sighs> so you remember. I'm so sorry. About your mother. Oh, no. It's okay. Our work here is a good distraction. I'll check the terminal over there. That doesn't sound good. I didn't mean any harm, Morimura-san. Don't worry about it. What? Why did you call me Morimura-san? Why did- why did- o Okino? Why did you just call me Morimura-san? I'm a Fuyusaka. Oh my god, am I the teacher? Is Yori the teacher too? Is Chihiro also Yori? No. Maybe... Oh, n She's your mom. I think the game just told us that... The teacher's our mom. The nurse is our mom. Chihiro's our mom. Oh, I... Yep, yeah, that's, that's what it is. She didn't know, but... At this point in the timeline, she does. This one block of data is still being analyzed. It's been three days, and it's only at 1.2%. That's unusually dense. Still, the system's logical structure... It's not so far off from our own. Was Okino-kun right all along? This could be a relic of an ancient civilization. So half of the freaking people in this game are related to each other. <laughs> Hold up. Kitaro Miura's my uncle, maybe? Assuming that all the other things that we've assumed are correct? <laughs> oh, shit. I wonder what this is for. Something incredible, surely. If you asked me for my best guess, I'd say it's a transmission device. In other words, a teleporter. <sighs> Don't give me that look. Hear me out. After everything you've seen, girl? I actually found some associated data. Come on, you've taken quantum mechanics. Transmission of matter isn't possible. That's what our science says. We can't assume that alien technology is bound by the same constraints. If my theory is correct, we've got an explanation for the disappearances. Including those of your parents, Morimura-san. Hmm. Guys, come take a look at this. The analysis took some time, but... I found this. What is that? The map. This relic is enormous. It's 30 kilometers in diameter. And the whole thing's underground, right beneath the city. It looks like a giant saucer. Fascinating. That's where they're coming from. So this isn't just any alien facility. It's a buried UFO. Hmm, maybe not then. I didn't realize we were in it. We're only 300 meters from the surface. This facility is huge. How could it have never been discovered? It's not likely. Somebody kept it hidden. Rather, 
It may have been intentionally hidden. A government cover-up of alien life. Sounds like a movie from the 20th century. SIU? Those monsters on the surface. Are they trying to unearth this UFO? Just what are they after? It may have something to do with this. It's a data signal being emitted by this facility as we speak. Is it homing it the invasion? Like this is... A countdown. It started when the Kaiju came in contact with the mainframe. Since then, the clock's been ticking. We should investigate further. This may not be appropriate, but I'm honestly excited. This sort of alien technology? I can hardly believe it. So when the countdown reaches zero, what happens? Hmm. It may be related to the gravity wave abnormality. Do you think it might launch? Let's just continue the analysis. What if this ends up being the ship that um, Natsuno and Keitaru are on in the Sector 4 section? I wonder. There's no time so they're in space, in some kind of space station, it looks like. What's going on. But with this game, who knows, man? Who freaking knows? We're going to keep going with her. Or is this going to be a different timeline, or something else happening? Yeah, okay. So it's going to... So instead of eating a crepe, maybe we go and get soft... Yep, okay, soft serve. A giant UFO buried underground. Was it a premonition? Oh, that's crazy. Maybe not chance getting to my head. When she starts talking about UFOs, you'll never hear the end of it. Gotta love her, though. Maybe someone... You like? Let's see. Now, where were we? Hmm. That guy's shallower than a cookie pan. Yeah. Romance. Good idea. At this point, we've hit up most restaurants in town. Let's get sweets. Don't you want to try it, Yuri? Soft serve time. Let's go. We've had crepes a lot lately. So I agree with Miwa-chan. Yeah, okay. All right, let's go. Big ice cream. That looks good too. I think I'm just hungry. We all got the new flavor. Rich vanilla, right? It was either this or chocolate mint. Alright, I'm gonna try it. Let's see. Mm, it's so good! Super sweet. Lucky item is this week? Soft serve ice cream! Now, oh, is she gonna give the love letter to Shu in this timeline? Then. They really are! <laughs> I can tell! I'd love to go back to that new place. Um, do you think we'll put on weight? Mm, we did just eat a lot of sugar. Yori. <laughs> Are you on a diet? Is that crush getting to your head? Don't tell me. You two are taking things to the next level? It's not like that. I think she's only met him once at this point, right? And all the guys at school 
all suck. Boys, boys, There's boys. There's not even one you might like? Miwa chan You should do it. Send your love letter. Huh? Your luck is up, girl. But do it. It said my luck for this week is bad. Yeah, but you just had ice cream. Yeah, see? Don't forget, you got your lucky item today. Damn right. Yeah, just tell him. Oh, stop. It's so embarrassing. <laughs> Watching from afar is good enough. But I do envy you, Iori-chan. You talk to Amiguchi-kun like it's no big deal. You two are chatting on lunch break, right? In the passageway? Another recall? What about? Well, uh... Dreams? Let's see. Now, where were we? Amiguchi-kun and Kurabe-kun's dreams. They sounded a lot like mine. I wanted to talk to them about it. Maybe we're all connected. Kurabe-kun! Oh, Fuyasaka-san. What brings you here? You weren't at your desk, so... I thought I'd check outside. Are you waiting for Amiguchi-kun? Well, trying to. More dream talk? I'm sure that's what he'd want to do. But <laughs> I just want to play games. I thought I'd ask to hang out at his place. You know, I've been thinking. I know we just met here at school, but it doesn't feel like it's for the first time. Uh, Have we met somewhere before? A long time ago? Um, I don't think so. Oh. Fuyusaka's here too. Amiguchi-kun. Did you have another dream? You guessed it. It was crazy, man. I was in this tank thing with legs whoa walking around beating up monsters okay in a sentinel Were you gotcha watching some sci-fi b movie before <laughs> bed so you've been having dreams like that all this time oh yeah especially lately you too right karabi kun mine was about a ufo i went back in time using the ufo's transmitter i have dreams like that all the time the transporter uh, transports case, through time. Gotcha. I think I'm too easily influenced by movies and stuff. Why did you come here anyway? So they found that transporter, which actually travels through time, not space. So that was when Okino first discovered the transporter, and then he's able to use it later on, because that was the first time he'd seen one of those. Interesting. Okay. So that flashback in the UFO was the first time he had come into contact with this. And then based on that, he probably started implementing time travel throughout the throughout these sectors, I'm guessing. Don't tell me you're interested in our dreams. About that, the truth is, I've been having weird dreams too. It seems like they might be related, so I thought I should talk to you guys about it. Oh yeah? What kind of dreams? That dream you just told us about. You know, the tank with legs. I saw something similar myself. For real? I think that was you in my dream, Amiguchi-kun. Kaede River, Sumire Bridge. The riverbank looks so empty. There's no Century Tower. This must be before it was built. I went back 16 years. Looks like I'm the only one who made it. Were Jiro and Okinokun unable to escape? 
This must be around the time I was born. And I'm all alone. This looks like it's the future. What am I supposed to do? Yeah, this has got to be the future. We haven't seen enough of 2024 City to know if this is 2024 or 20... I guess 2080 is too far in the future. Whoa. It's Sumire Bridge. Did I make it back? Uh. I guess it's like, it's 2180. Am Hold I right on. or wrong? Um, you're Chihiro Morimura. Am I right? Who are you? I'm Tetsuya Ida. Jesus Christ. Ugh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Is she really Chihiro? Another version of Chihiro? So we've got little kid Chihiro in 44, living with Tamao. This Chihiro is saying she was born sometime in this time, which looks like it's one of the future timelines. Either 2025 or probably the later one. There was... I, I don't remember how, what the other years are. The, the forward years, but... So Amaguchi and Iori are Chihiro and Ida. I was sent here by the future you to the year 2089. There it is. So there's 2089 and there's another one that's like 21 something, which is the one that we see the space station with, right? The future me? She asked me to find you on Sumire Bridge 16 years prior and tell you about our battles. We'll defeat them this time for sure. It's getting noisy. I don't want to get caught. Let's get out of here. What about that thing? Are you just going to leave it here? Don't have much choice. Gonna need it eventually. I'll worry about it later. For now, though, I think it's best you come with me. Interesting that we could have played this much earlier and started piecing together the Chihiro connection with Yori. Hmm. All right. Wow. Okay. Let's go to Shu. Cool. Oh, I should have read his thing to remind myself where we left off with him. Man, I'm really off my game today. All these weird dreams must be getting to me. And that show that came on in the middle of the night. Wish that was just a dream. Back in my dream, he called himself Tetsuya Ida. We look identical, but that's not my name, so... So what's going on? We have Chihiro and Tetsuya. I'm wondering if maybe it's just like alternate reality versions of them that have shifted into this timeline or something. And in this timeline, they're different named people. But I don't know, man. It's weird. I keep seeing Kisaragi in my dreams. Except it's not exactly me. My name's Ida there. Just two people struggling to survive. Wonder if they're in love. This dream's probably way, way off in the future. Looked like it was in some kind of lab. Never figured she'd turn up. But that was her, Tomi Kisaragi. I don't remember that dream. We've seen her in the near future. What? This dream's probably way. Looked like it was in. Never figured she'd. But that was her. I don't remember that one. My motorcycle's a Shikishima GRD250. I woke up late this morning, so I came to school by bike. But I've got it parked off in the shopping district. 
That way the school can't get on my case about it. Yuki Inaba. She's a celebrity, a pop star. <laughs> Who'd believe me? Hey, so I've been talking to this pop star through my TV. Ugh. Yeah, no. No easy way to drop that bomb. They'd have me committed. Man, she's cute. A bombshell like that sending those curry guys to the hospital? <laughs> I've never met anyone like her before. I just might have fallen for her. This dude's fallen for everybody. <laughs> Of course, one of them is an Ida, and one of them is an Amaguchi, but we don't know what that means yet. I don't see Karabe-kun. I wanted to talk about my dream. Might be out in the passageway. Oh. Tell me. Ow. Sorry, girl. Oh, it's you. Uh. What? She's the same. Just like the Kisaragi I saw in my dream. Did you say something? <laughs> oh, do we get to see it now? Maybe? Gotta make sure. Huh? Ah! Huh. Uh, oh! what? What the hell are you doing, you pervert? What, what, what did uh, you do? Do you think you can do anything you want just because you're popular? Look, I mean, I had this dream last night. <laughs> I just had to make sure you actually had a belly. Okay. I'm sorry. What? Okay, so he met android version of her. That's what happened, and we're probably about to see that scene. Now you're calling me fat? Oh. What the hell is your problem? That's the no, 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 not that. How is that okay? Do you think you can just go around grabbing girls? Oh, uh, sorry. Sorry. I saw her hanging there. Or half of her at any rate. Yep, Android. Maybe it really was just a messed up dream. I already know what Karabe kun would say. I gotta lay off the splatter flicks. <sighs> had we not it's seen such a ball. Had we not seen the uh What's with this guy? The Android stuff already. That would be a lot more concerning. Half of her? Like we wouldn't know that it's an Android and we'd be assuming the worst. Sorry, Tomi. Yuki-chan's supposed to be in class 1A. No sign of her, though. <sighs> Karabe-kun might be waiting for me. I should get going. Fuyusaka, you the only one here? Hi, Amiguchi-kun. Karabe-kun's not here, huh? I had this dream. It's bugging me. I kind of wanted to talk about it. How about you, Amiguchi-kun? Yeah, my dreams have been crazy lately, too. Do you see robots, too? No. Well... Okay, sure, yeah, they're kind of like robots. Alright, I just came up with a theory in my mind. Because, you know, we, we, we already speculated that what if Iori is the daughter of Chihiro, right? So, if we were going off of those lines, then um, we might be seeing the memories in dreams of our parents. So, what if that was the case? So, Ida could be his dad. And Chihiro could be her mom, and we just don't know it yet? Or maybe I'm completely off base, and I'm sounding like a fool. Just a theory that I wanted to throw out there, because it came to mind that maybe something, something is there. What kind of robots? Or maybe they're just the well, same person. They were more like androids. I mean, you couldn't tell them apart from human beings. And I'm there in some kind of lab with all these androids? I know that place. I was there too, in my dream. The 
sixth biggest underground laboratory in Shikishima. Okay, getting some more information on or this something. stuff. Good. That place is underground? And I saw Usami-chan there too. Tomi Kisaragi. Yeah, me too. It's got to be the same place. Okay, so... Oh, cool. We do get to see it. Okay, so we could have learned about androids fairly early on in this, huh? And that should work okay. Memory data is now ready. Hmm. You're working on the Tomi Kisaragi android, huh? Interesting. And if you are Ida, Tamao Karabe? What? Why is the computer labeled Tamao Karabe? This must be the one that eventually becomes the android that we run into in the bathroom, huh? on the computer that'll eventually... Hmm. Thank you, Tamao-san. I really don't know what I'd do without you. Don't worry, Ida-kun. You succeeded with me. I'm sure you'll do fine with her. I'm sorry I had to prioritize her. Don't worry. We'll get you a body, too. Soon. Yep. I'm looking forward to it. He's creating the androids. And so he might... And he is also eventually becomes the SIU director. So the androids are specifically working for the SIU. Let's begin. Initializing composition. The simulated personality and memories have been synchronized. Please, come back to me. Oh, that doesn't bode well, huh? Tommy, do you recognize me? Uh, Ida-kun? <sighs> Wait, are you his older brother? <sighs> Did he even have a brother? It is you. He looks so... grown up. I'm sorry it took so long. It took eight years, even with the technology underground. Hmm? I, I can't Eight move. years, wow. She's having trouble understanding her situation. Yeah, you think? Jesus Christ. I will Christ. her emotions to avoid a panic attack. Uh. Huh? What's happening? Please listen. Try to stay calm. I analyzed your data from the records in Sector Zero. I found data for your old memories, your mind. And now I've transferred them into an android body. You mean I'm... I'm not... human? Am... I... Tamao-san, please turn up the sensitivity on those inhibitors. Kisaragi-san. You're like me now. An AI, based on memory data. You are constructed to think and act just like her. To be Tomi Kisaragi. You're still you. Uh. Let me try to calm her directly. Could you connect us? Do what you can. Please. Eventually, these two kind of find themselves at odds with each other. Interesting. To Mao and Tomi, I mean. We've got a problem with the Sentinels, Ida Kun. The Sentinels we thought were complete aren't responding. The Sentinels are working off of the same code base as the D series. So it has to be the D code control holding them back. 
If we want to disrupt that function, well, we need someone compatible to maintain direct access. Something wrong? No. Is this a bad time? No, everything's fine now. There's so much going on. She's calmed down. Really? Tony? What happened to the real me? Well... Please, be honest. Juro killed you. Whoa. You and the other kids. What? And I put him down. Holy shit. What the fuck? Damn it. A dream again. Man, what time is it? No way I'm getting back to sleep after that. Well, Jesus, just throw that reveal at me out of the blue. Why don't you? So in that dream, my name's Tetsuya Ida. It looks like it takes place in the future. And Fuyusaka's apparently been seeing stuff in the same place. Huh. I've been seeing things through Tetsuya Ida's eyes. She's been seeing them through Chihiro's. Fuyusaka... Actually, now that I think about it, the Ms. Morimura in my dreams looks pretty familiar. She kind of reminds me of Fuyusaka. Yeah, they're they're really like leading us to believe that they're either the same person or alternate reality versions of each other, or there's a possibility that memories might be being passed down to children, and that's the only other thing that I'm thinking about. Just because in the last ones that we were watching, they did mention um, her parents. So maybe there's importance to that. But at that time, she was already being called Chihiro. Morimura-san. Hmm. I don't know. Like, I think that maybe we're supposed to believe pretty strongly right now that they are, in fact, the same person. That he is Ida, and she is eventually Chihiro. That's wild. Okay. I, th I think that's what, what we're what I'm being led to believe until we see something else. Are we going to talk to the idol? Um, you in there? Not coming out today? Hello? Nothing to see here, just a guy talking to his TV. Totally normal. Okay, maybe I'm just going nuts. <laughs> no, you're not. I'm glad you talked to me. That is Tommy's voice. You are. That's Tommy's voice. What is going on? From the sounds of things, this might still take a while. Yuki Inaba. She's a celebrity, a pop star. <laughs> hey, so I've been talking to this pop star through my TV. Yeah, no easy way to drop that bomb. Are you the real Miyuki Inaba? Or something else just wearing her face? There's only one Miyuki Inaba in the world. But whether this face is just a mask, it's hard to say. Sometimes a mask is all an idol has. Sometimes it's all they are. I know this is a normal TV set. It doesn't even do video phone stuff. Pretty sure I shouldn't be able to talk to someone through it. You yourself are the transmitter. The TV is just the receiver. This is the only way I can communicate with you. I was blocked by universal control. The system denied me access. Sure, we don't know what So I had to sneak in on this broadcast. Kind of over my head, but I guess the point is... It's okay, me too, Shu. You hijacked the airwaves, and that's how we're talking. You could say that. Why me, though? You're the only one I can find. More accurately, your ID is the only one I could locate. But even beyond that, I know 
know I can depend on you. Okay, back up. You said something would take a while. What were you talking about? It will take a while to help you understand. Understand what? Our situation. <gasps> I'm being tracked. I'm cutting the connection for now. <sighs> hmm. Okay. Unlock condition, complete Natsuno Minami's Exterminator event. That's where we get to see uh, Tomi actually... Um, that's the attack. That's the attack in the bathroom with Tomi and Tamao. So we've Let's already go. got that one. Interesting. Okay. So I wonder if the one speaking... The one speaking to us through the TV is probably the AI version of Tomi. Hmm. All right. Well, with that, we're going to end this episode. So thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Have a good one, everybody.